Now we're going to cover the histology for practical two in AP2. So before we go into the actual histology, I'm just going to show you this image here to show you exactly where the spleen is located in the abdominal cavity. So this structure right here is your spleen. So your spleen is located in the upper left quadrant of the abdominal cavity or abdominal pelvic cavity. So now we're going to go over to the histology. So this is what the spleen looks like under a scope. So this organ or gland would be spleen and there's two different uh, specific areas that you have to know. The specific areas here that are darker, more condensed and um, tightly packed, that is your white pulp. This area here less compacted and lighter is your red pulp. So going to this second image here is we've blown this up so you can see much more detail. These circular areas where it's much more condensed and a little bit darker colored, this is going to be your white pulp. And then your red pulp is out here. It's lighter and less compact. Okay, so going back up here again, identify this organ or gland would be spleen. Identify this specific area out here would be red pulp. Identify this specific area here and here would be white pulp. Now moving on to the thymus. So the thymus is the endocrine gland that sits just above the heart in the middle of the chest. So this is zoomed, out, uh, zoomed in and then this is zoomed out. Okay, so it has a little bit different look, zoomed in and zoomed out. We're going to go to this one zoomed out right here so we can show you all of the different structures that you have to know. Okay, so these structures here that I'm circling in blue and that's already circled in black, that would be a lobule. Okay, so each one of these areas is a lobule. Then the lobules are divided by these white dividing line structures here. These white dividing line structures are called the septum. Okay, so <clears throat> let me erase this. So identify this organ or gland would be thymus. Identify this structure or area would be a lobule. Identify this structure here, which is this white line, would be a septum. Then going down to the lymph node, if you remember in the adrenal gland, you had the capsule, then you had the cortex, then you had the medulla. You have the same levels of organization here. So you have the capsule on the outside, that's like the skin around the lymph node. Then the first layer underneath the skin is the cortex, it's the outer layer. And then the middle layer here is the medulla. Again, so the outside skin, if you will, of the lymph node is your capsule. The first layer underneath the capsule is the cortex, and the layer in the middle is the medulla. On a practical, if I said identify um, this organ or gland, you would tell me a lymph node. Identify this structure here would be a capsule. Identify this layer would be the cortex and identify this layer in the center would be the medulla. Then we have lymphoid nodules. A lymphoid nodule is a localized collection of lymphoid tissues and these are going to be found in a particular area of the small intestines. So I'm going to circle each one of these lymphoid nodules. So here you see half of one, here you see one, here you see another one. So these tightly localized collections of lymphoid tissues are called a lymphoid nodule. So if I asked you what this structure is here, you would tell me a lymphoid nodule. The only other one we have here to discuss is the artery and the vein. You see up top here, you have the artery and right underneath it here, you have the vein. So the artery is much more circular and it has a much thicker wall and the vein is a little bit more flattened and it has a thin wall. 
So on a practical, if I pointed to this structure here, whoops. Oh, I forgot it's not gonna let me draw the area. If I pointed to this larger structure up top and ask you what this structure is, you would tell me an artery. If I pointed to this smaller structure down here and asked you what this structure is, you would tell me a vein. Okay, and that's all for the histology for AP2 Practical 2.